what is going on you guys welcome back to another video it is quite beautiful outside right now Suffer then or suffer now. You choose. You can choose whether you suffer then or suffer now. Bro, look at that sun. All right, hold on. Look at that fucking sunset, though. Come on, bro. This thing's cool. But what I mean that you can either choose to suffer in the future and eventually have to pay your debts or suffer now. A good example could be like going to the gym for this is this is one that I always think of all the time. I want to be and I've already said this in like a previous video before, but I wanna be like mobile like really mobile when I'm old. Like I wanna be able to like move around when I'm old. When I'm old, 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 old. Like 80 years old. And the only way for me to do that is to stay active <clears throat> through my whole days. Unless something catastrophic happens, like I get paralyzed or something. I should be able to make that happen. So, I have to suffer now in order for me not to suffer then. And what most people do is take it for granted that they can move now, think they'll, they'll be able to move forever, and then suffer then instead of now. Because now you're 80 years old and you're in a wheelchair, man. Because your bones are like this thick. Sometimes you gotta suffer now. For me, I don't, I don't, honestly, bro, I do not want to go to the gym today. Like, right now, I really don't want to go to the gym at all, bro. I do not want to go. I'm still going to go anyways because I know how important it is for the future of my life. It's, there's a bigger picture to it. So, yeah. Either suffer then or suffer now. Okay, I can feel it. My bike is like on, has no gas in it, bro. My fucking light is about to come on any second. I already know it, bro. I can feel it. There's like, it's like empty, bro. I didn't get to ride yesterday. Uh, I fucking miss this thing, man. Oh, it's so beautiful, man. Uh, and plus, by the way. That quote is not only for the gym. It's not only like a gym quote. Like it could be anything, literally. I mean, you could think of it as like investing, bro. Like it's not like fun to fucking, you know, like build a investment fund or like a retirement fund. But if you don't, you might suffer in the future if you don't have one. Like it's not. It's not like a fun activity. To, like oh, I'm gonna set up my retirement fund now, or like oh, I'm gonna put a couple hundred dollars. Uh, every paycheck into this retirement fund like bro that shit is not fun but if you suffer through you know losing that little bit of paycheck every month and setting it up in the first place and all that you will suffer now rather than suffer then when you're retired and you have no fucking money left because you never saved any of it so i mean you can use it for like a huge array of, th of situations but I didn't know this merged. I'll just do a 
you turn right here. Yeah, this is nasty pavement, bro. I'm gonna have to ship to all those cars that passed me up here. Viper? Like a, oh, dude, like an SRT 10 Viper. Bro, come on, bro. That thing is so fucking nice. Damn, that thing was dope. It was like dark blue with gray. Oh my god, that thing was nice. Vipers are probably like my favorite Dodge car. Those things are so sick. Bus, please do not go. Okay, bro, it's going. Saturday, dude. Everybody's like excited. I mean, it's not to depend. It doesn't happen on the day. People don't pay attention every day. It doesn't matter what fucking day the week it is, bro. What is bro onto? Bro is onto nothing. Cops always fill their cop cars right here. That little gas station right there is where the cops fill their cars at. Let me chill. Okay, I thought that was like an actual bump in the road. spitting was was not illegal but was legal here or filtering or whatever you want to call it because this shit's cringe and like i got us how you think it's unsafe but at the same time like sitting in traffic on a motorcycle where you were like practically invisible is also quite unsafe so i mean might as well try to let the people who are riding motorcycles and do it daily like you know take their safety into their own hands rather than relying on other people just like hoping that they see you and hope
hoping you don't get sandwiched in between like eight tons of metal, dude. Well, okay. Like four tons, actually. Outside of the race boundaries. <laughs> oh, hello, Senor Cop. this video uh, let me lock in um everybody's looking over here if you enjoyed this video drop a like subscribe spread some love and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out